In the early 1900s, Harry E. Perigo claimed to have invented a device that could extract electrical energy right out of the atmosphere at no cost. Harry Perigo was an electrical engineer educated at MIT and living in Kansas City at the time. From 1916 to 1927, detailed reports and photos were made of his electric energy devices, which appeared to do just what he claimed. He demonstrated his inventions by lighting lights and even operating an electric car. These are recorded in newspapers at the time, like the Kansas City Star. His devices were mazes of wires and other boxes and transformers, which he was very secretive about. He would have wires stretched across the ceiling, tangles of wires connected in ways only known to him, and in some fashion was able to light his home with his device. He promised he would change the world with his inventions by pulling electricity right out of thin air. He built a demonstration model he brought to Washington, and he applied for a patent. His demonstrations were convincing to people, and some became investors to fund his work. His work and demonstrations carried on for many years, and gaining an interest. But there didn't seem to be much progress over the years, and no patent was awarded. And he still kept the workings of his device a secret. Eventually, with constant delays and excuses, the skeptics pushed him into a corner. Investors and experts demanded an open inspection of his car and his powering device that he had demonstrated before, trying to convince people. In the inspection of the car, they found a battery tucked away under a seat. Though he swore he was not using it to power his car, saying it was too small for that, no one could believe him. This was enough for them to label him as a fake. He lost credibility and faded away in denial and disgrace. Even though he came to be regarded as a fraud, those who witnessed his devices still acknowledged that he had to have circuitry to do what he demonstrated. Quote, there must be something electrically unusual in its construction. A powerful new type of storage battery, a method of storing electrical energy and wires, a device for picking up electricity from outside sources, or whatnot. Kansas City Star, August 8, 1927. You can still find a full report online at rexresearch.com. Harry Perigo lied about the battery in his electric car, and it ended up that no one ever found out what he really had. Was it all a big hoax from the start? Or was he mistaken about what he thought he had and couldn't live up to the promises he made and turned to deception to try to buy some more time? One of his devices, he said, would produce 500 horsepower, and that's a pretty big claim. But what exactly went on and what he had is all still a mystery. The title of Mr. Perigo's invention is Method and Apparatus for Accumulating and Transforming Ether Electrical Energy. The word accumulating means to gather together or to store up. I wonder if it could be that's all Perigo was really doing. Storing up small amounts of electricity over time from some source he detected and then demonstrating all that stored up energy in a short period of time. It is possible to extract small amounts of energy from radio transmissions and other electromagnetic waves. That's what I got going on right here. Crystal radios were widely in use during the early 1900s. They operate with no outside power. They get their power directly from the radio waves. Over time, small amounts of electricity from a crystal radio antenna can be accumulated into a battery or a capacitor. Here I'm using long antenna wires, a whole array of them, to extract electrical energy from radio transmissions, and I get some pretty interesting results. I get a continuous stream of power coming in. In good days it might be up to 3 milliwatts, and I usually have some LEDs lit when they're not burned out, or a small pulse motor running. They're a little more forgiving when the power builds up and I forget to turn the switch off or on. You can check out the video playlist I have on this subject. 
And I also have an instruction booklet if you want to see what kind of energy you can pick up at your location. I was intrigued by this whole Harry Perigo story. Mysteries do that. And I wanted to share some of my thoughts about it. Thanks for watching.